Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 with a Dodge Viper. This is a maxed out Dodge Viper. It has 1,128 horsepower. I think it's over 1,100. Jesus, that was close to me. Could you give it a little more space? Whatever that is that's whizzing off in the distance. Um, so this is incredibly powerful. Rear wheel drive, American super muscle car. And how am I going to test it? I'm going to go find some, some of the barn locations. We're going to take this off-road. See how it fares. I have no idea how well this car will... I'm, I'm guessing it'll be a handful when it comes to dealing with the, the bumpy stuff. We're going to find out. Uh, I've got four more barn finds to locate. And I believe these are the last ones that I have to find. Now this place here looks like it's fairly open. Like if, if it was over there, I think I would... I love how there's just cars in the distance playing in the middle of the fields. That is kind of cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool. Um, yeah, if it was over there, I'm pretty sure we would see it. Because, you know, there's, not, there's no trees for it to hide behind. I mean, there is kind of a hill, but that's not big enough. Now, maybe it is over here. This one here looks... It looks possible down here, maybe. Don't know. We've got, we've got buildings going on. Are any of you a barn fine building? You look like a barn fine building. Ah, look at this, this first one. Lovely and easily found. What have we got? That is the question. I gotta go, I'll call you back. Hello. Seriously, I'm here. I don't know how you're doing it. Must be your There's a map. secret powers. Yeah, it's, it's called a map. Video it tells games. me where they are. Uh, ooh. That looks like a nice Ferrari to me. Oh, wow. Is that a Ferrari 250 GT? One of the most sought after cars in the world. You heard the story, right? Back in the 70s, this famous Greek singer was playing in Castelletto. After his gig, the car won't start, and he moves on, and then it gets to be too much trouble to fix, and... Who knows? This could be it. This toy's in bad shape, though. Okay, car number one, nice and easy to find. Uh, I wasn't hey, expecting it to be quite that easy. Okay, fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Lovely old Ferrari. Um, next, we're going over here. This looks like it might be a bit more of a pain. That one there is lovely and easy because it was just completely open area. This one, there's, there's quite a lot of tree covers and some hills to test my Viper for its off-roading <laughs> off abilities. This first one has not been no, oh, her to her that much of a challenge. I've just bumped it into a tree. Uh, I think third-person view is probably the best one for barn Turn finding. Around. I prefer driving in first-person view or in, in the cockpit view. I don't like the bonnet view on this game. For some reason, whoops, see, that's a tree. I don't know why. I just <laughs> not, not a huge fan. Like, I was coming for car to drive. I was driving a couple of cars that didn't feel like it's quite in the right place. So uh, yeah, I've kind of resorted to uh, ooh cockpit view. Uh, okay, we're going this way. Where is the little destination thing gone? Normally, there's a big thing on the horizon that shows destination over this way. There we go. There it is. Uh, we're going to. We're not going to bother with road. Who needs roads? We can go where. Okay, maybe we do need. A, a, a safe passage through here. Oh, it's started raining again. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to try blast through that, Pete. No, not with this car. You, you've got to take it easy with this much power. Whoa, that's a big jump. That would have hurt a Viper. Ooh, that's also a bit of a big jump. Okay, now we're on. Now we're on some tarmac. Admittedly, slightly wet tarmac. We will unleash the Viper as best as we can while <laughs> weaving in and out of buildings. This is seriously quick. That's a scary. That's not a place you want to hit with a car like this. And unleashed all of the speed. Oh, whoopsie! <laughs> we, we, we've killed a Donkavort. I apologise. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> there is so much speed in this car. You put your foot down, and suddenly you're doing 140 miles an hour across a field or a vineyard. Whoop! And we're in. We're in the zone. Okay, oh, there's a there's a bonus board. Let's go and grab that while we are, oopsie daisy, while we are here. Yeah, this is not quite as nice as and, and open as the previous one. There's quite a bit of tree cover over there. There's some, <laughs> I love the random car that's just going, screw the roads, we're going over this way. Uh, that's what Europe is like, everybody. Okay, people don't care about the roads. They should, they, if, if they see a shortcut across the field, they'll take it. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we can't go any further up. I don't think, because that is one of those solid walls that we can't we can't pass. So that side of the wall is perhaps unpassable. Oopsie, I thought I'd have enough turning to do that. I don't know why I did think that. Uh, oh, path, 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 path. Kind of path anyway. 
you will. This this will do. We will follow this and see where it leads. There. Does it go this way and does it curve around? See, if, if I was hiding a barn find, I would hide it somewhere. Uh, no, I think I've taken the wrong route off that path is going to go anywhere. I would hide it somewhere right up against this wall, hidden behind some trees. And that's what I would do. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a path going on here. Uh, still going up towards this wall. I don't think we can get across that wall. I don't think we can get to the other side. So that, And then over there is all very open. I can't see a building. So let's go back in the tree line. Ooh, found a board. Okay, well, that's not quite what I was looking for. But I'll take 7,500 XP. Uh, this is, again, this is, we're sort of on a path here. There is quite a big dip uh, down there that we will have to have a look out over once we've got to the edge of this. Ooh, we've got to the edge of this path. <laughs> quite a narrow path, if I'm honest, for a viper. Also, there is somebody, somebody's down there having some fun. Is that a ram runner they've got going on? Might be, kind of looks like it. Okay, so in that dip, hidden, hmm. This one here is a little bit more well hidden, uh, unless. No, it doesn't look like it's up there. I don't. It'd be too obvious, I would have thought, to have it with these buildings that are practically on the side of the road. Maybe up here, perhaps. The car is doing quite well. Oh, now we're on the right on the edge of the area. Uh, the Viper is doing quite well with the off-roading, though. I mean, last time I went looking for stuff, I was in a rally fighter, and let's face it, a rally fighter is a very sensible car when it comes to the off-roading stuff. This is not very sensible. But you can be careful with it. I thought I'd like to see the building over this way. So we're going to climb up this hill. And we're, we're climbing up the hills without... I mean, if, I go, if I go really bananas on the throttle, you will spin the car around. But even with 1,100 horsepower and some dirt, you can keep it under control quite nicely. What about over here? This is looking a bit more promising. Nope, that's, uh, that's an interesting looking house, actually. I'd, oh! Okay, there is a barn. I didn't. I didn't even notice that one. We found it. <laughs> what? Are, oh, I want the alpha or mayo. I quite I like the alpha. I just something on the radio about barn finds. I think we're really onto something. Yes, I've, I've found quite a lot. I found eight cars in garages. You should be concerned as to why, how, quite how I'm finding all of these. That looks like a Mura. Let's see it. Whoa, dude, that's that's a Lamborghini Miura. Oh my god, one of the most beautiful cars ever made, and it's just been left here abandoned. Jeez. Anyway, sweet find. Can't wait to get my hands on this baby. I love how there are many priceless cars scattered around <laughs> scattered around bits of Italy and France. Yeah, uh, okay. We've got ooh, we've got the uh, the Lamborghini. Oh, let's go for a, a, a wheel spin. Let's see what we can get if we can get anything interesting. I got a, a Plymouth Hemi Cuda. I was quite pleased with that one. Uh, no, that's 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 a boring one. Uh, okay, that was them done from down there. Uh, then we'll go to the other side of the map up here. Uh, this one, this actually looks quite open again. Like this, there is a bit of tree line. This, this one here might not be too bad to find. And the final one looks very open, or that's probably going to be hidden in the bushes up there or down that way somewhere. Right now, I've got a little bit of a drive to do uh, in this car. Okay, we will get to find out just how good it is on the road. This is starting to go tonight a little bit. Uh, Alright, we can bomb down there. That's a tree. <laughs> I saw that there was a tree there just at the last second and I couldn't stop it. Okay, how fast do we reckon I can get this on the road? I don't think we're actually going to go on a motorway on this journey, so we're not going to have a nice, easy motorway. According to the benchmark, it reckons this Viper will do 259 miles an hour if it was on a big long straight uh, without any traffic to worry about. I'm not going to have a big long straight and there will be traffic in corners so I'm thinking perhaps if we find a vague, like a small straight uh, we may get it up to well over 200 miles an hour, maybe 220 but without the motorway or the use of the airfield or something and I don't think we're going to get it, we're not going to get it to 260 on sort of country roads. Uh, <laughs> that's very unlikely. Uh, it just picks up so much speed. Oh, hello! I better get out of the way of that. Oh dear. There are lots of driver cars going around, which I, I do quite like that there's lots of, there's lots of supercars. It gives this game a really good atmosphere. I think something Horizon does better than any other racing game is it has got an absolutely excellent atmosphere. It doesn't bother with a storyline, which is a good thing. No racing game has ever got a storyline properly right. What Horizon does is instead of instead of bothering with you know trying to force a story into a driving game, it creates an atmosphere for you to enjoy driving around. 
and it is very good at that. Incredibly good at that. Jesus, this is so fast. <laughs> oh, that's 180 before we start coming into some buildings. This is not a car for the for the cities. Uh, although, even with all of this power, I'm booting it out of these corners and it's sorting itself out. Please don't turn. AI traffic, do not make any sudden movements when you see this car in your rearview mirror. Okay, otherwise, there will be a big crash. I think the fastest I've dared get it is 180 before having to slam on the brakes. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. That was my bad. That was completely my bad. Uh, hmm. Okay, there's a speed trap coming up. Come on then, Viper. Let's see, what we, let's see what we can get. This looks like a nice, quiet piece of road. Not exactly straight, though. Uh, ooh, no, we're not gonna, we're not going to do that. Ooh, cars, Whee, through the, <laughs> through the middle. Oh, we're going to get a brief bit of straight after this roundabout. roundabout. To test the acceleration on it. Ooh, you, you just make up so much ground in this car. It's phenomenal. Okay, how fast can we go? This is a, a, quite a nice little straight bit. Here we go, car. Can we crack 200 before we get to the destination? Not quite. We're going to go. We're going to pass 200 miles an hour quite easily on the road. We've overshot the the, <laughs> the point. That's about 215 miles an hour in a vibe. But this thing picks up speed so so bloody fast. It's a scary car to drive. This one. Okay, we got to find a barn. Oh, there's lots of this sort of mini trees. You can drive through them, but you can't really see very well over them. I did spy a building over this bit. Maybe, ooh, or, or over there, maybe. There was definitely a building here. Are you a barn find? Well, you are a barn. Uh, you, no, you don't look like a barn find. Sort of a barn. You are a barn. Not the one that has, whoopsie, there's a gear in there. But not, not one that has a car in it, sadly. Uh, Whee! Whoopsie. There's a gear. We'll get it going again. Uh, I did spy another building somewhere over this way. Well, I think it's got lights on. That's not good. Oh, that's not a destructible tree. I hate it when they, <laughs> when they hide the non-destructible trees in with the destructible ones. That's when it gets... Uh, Dude, uh. Your chariot awaits you. Your... No, your I, okay, what well, that car's been... That was a very quick restoration considering the state that that car was in. <laughs> hmm. Okay, my clever ideas with what I thought I, I saw were buildings were buildings. God, this is the hardest one to bloody find. But we've got these little trees around. Uh, hmm. Okay. Where would you hide a barn? I need to find one of those little little roads. Right, let's go have a look over this way. Sure, bugger it. This looks like a much easier place to to, <laughs> to at least tell if it is here or not, because uh, it's all a nice open space. I don't think it's going to be on this side of the the road. To be honest, otherwise I think you would it would just stick out. Uh, oh wait, unless that's no, that's outside that's outside the area, so it's not going to be up there. Uh, we have got a path that's going the wrong way. Let's get back into the oh dear. Get back into the into the little zony bit. There's a building over. I think there's a building over there, maybe. I'm not sure. Was it a building or spite? Or is it just light? Oh no, I think it's lights of a tunnel, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, it's just a uh, one very powerful street light. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's not what we were looking for either. Uh, we found one singular street light in the entirety <laughs> of this of that, of that road. I guess it's for the driveway. Uh, for whoever rich folk live up up in that house. Okay, well, I haven't had any any immediate luck. Head down this kind of dark dirt road. Sorry. Hmm. If it was up there, I think you'd see it probably. It was back through there. Oops. <laughs> Take out the trees, dude. Yes. Do, do you want some assistance, Mister Mister? How have you got that? Surely that car is okay to move. Surely you could. Oh, oh. Is he going to be free? I've just stopped him from going. If I move, will you be happy now? No, Sylvia is stuck. Let's give you a nudge. There we go. Go. Begin. Launch. Oh, there's another one. Um, what is wrong with you? <laughs> move. Ah, uh -huh. now you can't blame the tree. Okay, or it just doesn't. Okay, it doesn't want to move. Fine, fine. I don't see if I care. I'll, I'll leave you to your parkedness. There is not a building over that way. That is for sure. Um, hmm. This one is a little bit trickier. I don't have a hill I can go up on and and kind of survey the surrounding area from. Unfortunately, there's a board somewhere in here that I've completely missed. That's clever of me. That's a tree that I guess I need to be going a little bit faster to break. Uh, right. Okay. Maybe over this way then. This way is quite... Oh, maybe that's... 
that be... No, that's a, that's a big combine harvester. Uh, doesn't look like a barn find <laughs> over this way. Oops. There's, a, there's a board in there. Oh, crap. No, I was meant to put that in reverse. I did not. There's a board of sorts in here. Uh, well, let's click it in reverse. Fine, we'll go in backwards. Sure. That's, that works. Um, hmm. Okay, that's... Is that where I found before? I think that might be. Right. It was not there, so perhaps we have to go... Oh, arse. Don't tell me where to go. I've got to find a way around this bloody fence, have I? Can I see it in there? Hmm. I think I have to go underneath the, uh, the little bridge bit and then come around at least to check. Ooh! <laughs> we can get some serious speed even on the dirt stuff with this car. Okay, so if we flip it went this way, then... Aha! Uh -huh. Right, we do have quite a large area up this side of the fence as well to explore. Potentially. It doesn't look very promising though. It's a big open area. Unless it is up this hill. Then that'll put it right on the very edge of the little territory bit. Hmm. No, we don't look like it's up the hill. It doesn't look like it's on the hill. That's for sure. And also this is backing onto pretty sizable road, so you'd see it as you go go past. Oh, oh <laughs> didn't realise I was in that higher a gear. Um, hmm. Okay. Now, where is it hidden? <laughs> There's a camper van going off, playing in some more dirt as well over there. Where are you hiding? My, it's either an Alfa Romeo or a Maserati birdcage. One of the two is hiding in a garage somewhere, and I shall find it. I don't think it's this side of the road, though. I really don't. That's an unmovable fence. Uh, an unbreakable one. Doesn't seem to be up on this hill. It's too steep for a hill and it backs onto a motorway. So I think you would see it if you were cruising along the motorway. So it wouldn't be very well hidden. Up here, oopsie, that's... I would have thought that would have been a destructible tree, but never mind. Just make sure I've covered all, all possible areas. Yeah, it's not up here. That's another tree. Um, hmm... Okay, it's got to be in those fields with the with the mini trees. We can't really see. Oh crap! Uh, can we get out of this? Yeah, the viper is capable of getting out of that situation. Uh, it's not over there with them buildings because that's well outside the area. Hmm, this is a bit of a trickier one. The, the minute you don't have a nice high vantage point and nice sort of clean sight lines, these become quite a pain in the ass. Woo! The <laughs> Screen full of trees is not so helpful. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, we'll get it going again. Um, hmm. Okay, well then there's kind of a, a path-ish here. Now, off to the left was that build. Ah, uh, ha! I've got you. Somebody parked a tractor out there. Surely if there's a tractor there, you would notice, like, there's a picnic table and everything. Surely you would notice that you've got a incredibly I'm rare car. Calls. You always show me something good. You're on a winning streak, dude. I'm, I'm wanting an Alfa Romeo. That looks like an Alfa Romeo. Haha! <laughs> Finally got the car that I've been looking forward to. Hee! <laughs> awesome. Oh man, would you look at those curves? This is an Alfa Giulia, the TZ2, I think. Alfa sure knows how to make a pretty car, huh? Well, she'll be pretty when I'm done with her anyway. Okay, we've got a classic Alfa Romeo, a slightly muddy Dodge Viper. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody would have noticed the car in, in that one. Uh, Alright, so we'll Saturday. take out your picnic tables for good measure. One more vehicle to go. It will be the Maserati uh, Birdcage. Oh, we've got to do a little bit of a rally special stage to get to it. Well, Turn that'll be a good test to for so. this car. <laughs> it's performed admirably on the dirt. To be perfectly honest, I thought it would be absolutely impossible to drive. But it is not. <laughs> 1,100 horsepower and a Viper is very scary, but it can deal with the with the dirt. It can go quite bloody far. Oh, we were okay. We didn't need to get killed by a P1 and a bowl or something. Or a, ooh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you can get quite scared by the, the AIs that are doing their own races and are not always on their own side of the uh, the carriageway in the Aventador as well. Uh, right. Ooh, that was a bit of a, a bit of a nasty bump. Alright, go for another speed run, shall we, down here. <laughs> He's just phenomenally fast. 200 miles an hour. Where on earth do we brake for this corner? I have no idea. Brakes are quite good. Brakes do get it stopped in a hurry. Uh, whoopsie, we're off, we're off track a little bit. 
Okay, and we get going again. How fast can we get before we turn off, I wonder? <laughs> Way this picks up speed. Oof. Sorry, sorry, whatever that was. I think it was a 4KA. I was too busy trying to dodge the driver tars. It's uh, equipped the, uh, the KA. Uh, okay, we will uh, can we cheat up this. Let's give, give it a try, shall we? Extre very extreme off roading. We have cheated our way up one bit. Uh, ooh, hello, whatever that is. Didn't have time to look. We cheated our way up another bit. I mean, it does kind of climb hills sideways, which is a, a characteristic of the Viper. <laughs> not the not the best characteristic, perhaps, but it's quite good fun to drive. Uh, ooh, okay, I'm coming with you, all of you. Where are we going? Where's the party at? Woo! We'll go adventuring. Woo! We'll go adventuring. I might have bought the most inappropriate car. Actually, no, I think the Mura might be a little more inappropriate for taking off-roading. Um, ooh! That's a big drop. That can't, I think that was a Fiesta or Focus of some sort. Um, whee, I don't know why, why all the driver tiles have decided to go over there, in particular. It's not even a shortcut route. Ooh, dear, this is very quick. Okay, I was like 150. In between the trees, that's a big jump. We've got a big bounce again. Ooh, we're taking out all of the foliage. At some point, we will see road. There's road. We're in more trees. <laughs> You're all... Oh, your windscreen full of trees is not particularly helpful. That's a much more appropriate off-road vehicle. I will, I will give you that. Okay. Barn locating time. Well, we've got a little bit more... We've got a little bit more hilly terrain. We've got a bit better sight lines going on here. So we, well, we can see over that way. There is a massive open field that it's not going to be in. Uh, it could be somewhere. Hmm. I don't think we can't get on top of that cliff face, can we? Because that's just all solid rock. Uh, hmm. So it's going to be hidden in some trees again. I would presume maybe somewhere over this way. I'm thinking, in the perhaps the most likely. Oopsie. Off to the right of this bit of road. Okay. No, I lied because there is just a solid cliff face. Well, that eliminates quite a large, quite a large area uh, <laughs> of this search. Okay, maybe in them trees over there, that would make sense. Is that's all open area? There's quite a lot of uh, rock faces. Is that a building, this spy? That looks like a building. That looks like a barn find building. And somewhere around about here will be a door. Woohoo! And that should be the Maserati birdcage, if I remembered correctly. Oh, yeah, we're in the double digits. Traveling around Europe, finding classic cars and barns. Man, this is the life. I may never go back. Yeah, I, I, that would be a very good life. I wish I could do that. <laughs> that is a sorry sight for a birdcage oh, as well. You know what this is? Maserati birdcage. They only made like 17 of these. Cool. We got to get this back to the garage. Okay, well, there we go. That is four more of the barn find locations found with a massively overpowered Viper. It is pretty da <laughs> pretty damn incredible car this one absolutely bonkers and surprisingly you know drivable considering that you're trying to drive on dirt and all sorts of terrain with a car that has got so much power and not at all designed to go off-road uh, we don't, uh, ooh, that's a nice nice colored car I approve good whoever that was good sir yes well done on the car <laughs> yeah the, the 1100 horsepower Viper did okay, found the remaining barn finds, and there wasn't too many problems, except for me occasionally getting carried away with the speed and ending up in a bush, and not being able to see where on earth I was going. Um, but other than that, yeah, this did very, very well. And onto lovely tarmac again. <laughs> so there we go. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>